Shalom. Like to say all praises do unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the hopeful members of the elect. Um, this is just uh, another video in regarding to, uh, you know, our uh, people that was in power throughout Europe. All right. And this is going to be a. Uh, Prior, this is gonna be tar This is gonna be uh, basically, um, you know, with this lesson, it's gonna be on the House of Hanover. All right, you know, because uh, you know we were in power. You know, we're uh, sovereign. You know, and um, you know these are things that the devil, Esau, E doesn't want our people to know all right so um like you know what helped you know what helped me in this this life in this truth you know um was me waking up to me you know like to be you know to, like to learning who i am you know during the um 2000 like the 2008 era you know you know with the you know with youtube you know because um i was scrolling through you know on my uh, laptop and then uh you know i was you know learning like i just uh first i was watching um you no know, um i'm just telling you my testimony you know i was watching um saw nether you know the rastafarians and they were going into certain things and the moors you know i saw another you know over there in harlem you know and um you know he would interview you know like different kind of people you know so the so you had the um you had the kemet you know email tap and all that you know on that platform you know that you know it was on youtube you know um the moors you know where they were going into sovereignty you know uh what else um melon you know like melanin you know like the black woman's god type and uh you know all kinds of stuff you know so i was confused man you know um khalid muhammad you know um you know and then uh i heard he was talking about the jews because uh you know Khalid muhammad he was a member of the nation of islam you know which islam's is not is just a, a damn uh sandman you know like religion you guys are worshiping uh the moon god is a lot basically but basically um you know he was talking about the africans and you know all uh you know he was you know he had like good inter he had good um like lash he had good um like lectures and stuff right so uh one of his lectures he was talking about the jews you know that were the real jews i was like what you know but i didn't know that you know all that information what he knew he got it from you know from you know like from the one westers you know uh high priest aria uh you know king masha uh you know elder yaikwab and uh you know and um you know like rabba abba bivins you know so um you know there was a lot of things that happened uh, i guess he 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 died of a brain aneurysm you know, so uh, the Mosai, uh, Mosai uh, jacked him up, right? Because he was calling upon all kind of different spirits, gods, and all kind of things. You know, instead of just, you know, instead of just pushing the truth, he's wearing, he's a bald head. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to be, like, you're not supposed to, um, you know, shave the corner of your beard. You know, nor you're not, you know, like you're not supposed to have a bald head, you know, you know, so, uh, 
so i was searching man you know the rastafarians and stuff they were talking about selassie and all kind of, i was confused man because i was going to school at the time you know i was going to um uh, a college in uh toronto you know um george brown you know so i was confused man i was lost you know and i was going to school i was going on uh, you know, tool and die. You know, I did a year. Um, and then uh, I did uh, HVAC and whatever I did. I got my gas technician three, pretty much, you know. And, um, you know, I was still searching, you know, I was going to the class, certain classes they were talking about, um, uh, like the political science and certain things and, Everything that what they're teaching you, everything what they taught me was like, you know, like I was very skeptical because I'm like, these people are damn liars, man. But you know, pretty much I was on my, I was on the search, you know, and then, um, you know, I woke up, I woke up and then I, I, I went on uh, YouTube, I saw, um, you know, the Israelites, you know, I think uh, one of the first videos I, I saw was, um, what's his name? Nate, you know, or Bishop Nathaniel, you know, he was going, he's on the YouTube in Brooklyn. He was on Brooklyn, you know, he was cutting up a Rasta, man. Cutting up a Rasta, or whatever, but, uh, you know, like a, you know, but, but like if you want to continue to watch, you know, like you'd have to pay and whatever, right? So, so I was on the search, and then I I seen um, I saw um, I saw the ISUPK, you know, like those guys was wearing, you know, like the all uh, black and stuff, and cutting up the damn uh, so called, you know, they they're cutting up the black woman. You know the so-called Jews or the Amalekites, and then um, I saw Apostle Tahar, you know, over there, uh, over oh, like over thirty-fourth, right by, um, uh, you know, over where like the basketball player, like over where the arena is, right there, in Manhattan, right, and. Um, you know and they were like they had like probably like 30 part videos where they're just edifying man edifying and like wow i was i was awake i was amazed man i started writing down a lot of those scriptures and i'm like wow i was amazed because i was like you know i was amazed man of the way of the teaching and them standing boldly man and it was uh you know and then, um, you know, like that was the whole awakening during the YouTube era. And, um, you know, I think I, I, I put a comment, all right, because I think uh, on YouTube, like you could put up comments and then like you could message, you know, other people, right? So um, I, I checked my email, you know, um, you know, like the elder now, you know, like the elder, um, you know, um, Jeremiah, all right, he uh, sent me, uh, he, 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 like, he, he messaged me, and then, uh, we, we dialogued, and he's like, um, you from, you, you, like, you, you're from Toronto, or something, right, he just, he put in the, uh, message, and, yeah, and, uh, we dialogue, and then, uh, I think it was on a Saturday, you know, like, we met up, you know downtown at the library at the library and uh over by uh young and uh young and uh and blur you know at the library there we would uh sit down you know so we sat down we met up uh, and it was uh you know at the same time you know there was uh you know uh, like there daniela you know, like Daniela, he's not in the truth right now, but uh, he was very uh, significant 
in our uh in in our uh in our growing all right he's uh he was a journeyman uh he was uh he's into the trades you know in the drywall and everything um he was a very skilled man um you know but um you know he uh fell eventually or whatever it's a kind of a whole ordeal we're not gonna go into it but um you know and then um so we all sat also um like it was up we was there too whatever so the way how everything we linked right was off of the youtube you know by watching the apostles you know on the 34th street all right so uh eventually we came we you know we're dive we're dialoguing and um you know um um, like Daniela, you know, like he, he, he had a camera and also, uh, like Jeremiah, you know, and, um, I think was the week after, you know, we, uh, you know, like we got our garments, you know, like, you know, like we made our own little garments, you know, like we bought our own material, we cut it up and we sewed it, you know, or we glued it, you know, with our fringes. The border blue and um you know I, I i like i was living in durham region and that so uh it would you know i wasn't driving so i'd have to go on the bus so we'd I, i'd have to wake up early man like um you know probably by probably by 8 30 or so or 8 you know and then go on the train or on the uh the ghost the, on the go or go um like go on the go train on a go bus you know and um you know and find my way by young and blur no over yeah over by young and blur and um you know like that's where we would meet up at the library and um we would we would do our lesson we would uh you know we will have our dialogue we would do our notes our study then we went then um the first place where we touched down was by by uh queen you know because you know like we would just walk by you know like we would just walk from young street you know from young and blur all the way down to young over by young and queen over by eaton center right so right by uh queen and young right there you know that that's where we were prophesying right there and um you know and like that's the where the awakening came you know and um we're out there there was like a bald-headed uh white guy i think he was probably like a government or one of them because he came a couple times to dialogue and um and to feel us out and um you know a little after you know um a howard all right a howard he came or whatever because he's i guess he was driving he had his, he, like he was with his woman and he had his woman uh i guess his woman was driving and i think he was passenger then he turned like he like he told the woman to turn the, like the car back around or whatever and then uh, i think he parked i think they parked and then uh he came and uh you know he was dialoguing with uh he uh i was a reader um daniela was uh like he was uh speaking all right so like daniela it was me daniela um like um like he was up and myself um you know we're reading and uh pretty much um a howard a howard came because a howard said that he like he, he, he like he's been watching like the videos of the of the israelites you know of the um over um 
over there in New York and um, pretty much like um, you know he said you know the company like you know like like they he, he like he pretty much he said yeah like you know you know are you are you ready you know like to come in so you know then um eventually he he came you know i think like two weeks later right because this the other week you know like we had to move you know like we you know like they basically um like we had to go by queen on the other side the on the south of uh young and queen you know um you know there was like a like police like a whole lot of police because there was a big protest with the sri lankans and stuff you know and um there's a very a, a big like protest so um there was like a you know I, I, like i guess like the tamil tigers all right so and then like a police a lot of police came a lot of vans a lot of police vans came and uh and we stood our ground and um uh, you know um you know uh, how um daniela he basically uh you know he used wisdom and we used wisdom and uh and like we were you know like we weren't arrested we weren't charged you know because uh you know because we are you know um like daniela always told us you know about the constitution you know about the canadian constitution uh you know that we have a, uh, you know like freedom you know like we have the right to you know uh, of like to congregate you know and um you know and the bible is the constitution of the land you know so the in the bible is the strong is our is our is our is our uh, back is our backbone man and that's uh pretty much it um so yeah man it's all spiritual man because i i I was really going to go into uh the house of hanover but i'm going to continue pretty much man because uh you know like you know like um like this is how the awakening started man you know because the apostles you know the apostles you know like the one westers you know um Aria, you know, uh, you know, with all the bivins and stuff, you know, um, like that's the root, you know, that we step out of or stem out of, you know. So uh, this is just gonna be, uh, I'm gonna just run it from now to uh, the one hour mark. So this is gonna be uh, the house of Hanover. All right, so this is uh, going to get this scripture. Deuteronomy, the stock at Daniel 9 and 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto, unto, unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as it is this day. To the men of Judah, the so Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so the northern tribes, all right, or the ten tribes, all right, because the tribes were already was over here in the Americas when you go into uh second Ezra's thirteen and forty, you know, the uh, you know, because uh after the fall of uh you know after Solomon died, you know, of that the kingdom was it, it like was split, all right, because uh Solomon's, you know, like transgression, all right, because he was worshiping idols, all right, and uh doing all kinds of wicked sacrifice. And that's what basically happened. Right? The kingdom was divided, was split. All right, so yeah, the southern kingdom, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, that was fighting against the northern kingdom. So we had the great wars in the land, and eventually, the, eventually, like the heavenly Father was tired of it, and he and he pushed and he and he put the, he put the northern tribes into captivity by the Assyrians. All right, and um, you know by 722 BC the Assyrian Empire fell, then our people came to the Americas. It's like Ezra's 13 and 40 goes into that. I'm not gonna go into it right now. But unto the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all that are near and to all 
all that far off through all the countries whether thou hast driven them because they have they transgress that they have trespassed against thee that they have trespassed against thee yeah because we have transgressed against the heavenly father all right because our people was over here in the americas all right the northern tribes all right and um basically uh from uh south america central america north america and the caribbean you know the tribe was already here you know and uh eventually we set up colonies you know through the americas all right and um you know the 13 colonies all right um you know which was you know run by the british all right which you know which we you know that we were in power you know they let like new france you know over there in in quebec and um the, the whole region over new france all right so our people have always been uh migrating and um you know because uh basically you know that we were you know like we were divided all right because uh like we're gonna go into it all right and this is just gonna be uh within the hour so i'm gonna try and uh summarize certain things within this hour oh lord to us belong of confusion of faces to our kings and to our princes and to our fathers because we have sinned against thee right so that's why uh, eventually um a lot of the kings of judah whatever a lot of them became fear you know and uh, all right let's go into uh the accounts and get this king george all right because see when you look at this king george you're gonna look like okay they're gonna have like a light white guy or whatever you know has like woolly hair but they try and make him look like he's a white man right but the real images of uh of king george he's very he's very dark unfortunately all right because you see his wife his wife she was very fair all right and she's from the house of hanover all right and uh, uh you know you know she kind of look like beyonce or one you know she's very fair was this is off the guardian says was was this british it says was this britain first black queen no like there's been many even like even before all right because we were still on the throne queen charlotte was the wife of george of, of george III, and like him and german descendants did she also have african ancestry by Stuart Jer Jeffries, right? So uh, you could do you could do your research about it, but um, for uh, time's sake, I'm going to uh, continue. All right, because if you look at this guy, if you look at at this guy, this is a whole different image. Look at this. No, but you know, but this is, uh, you know, on um, like this image was taken. It says he, his ma his most sacred Majesty George III, King of Britain. All right, because there is still the Black nobility throughout Europe. All right, and that's why um, the Queen who died now. Um, What's her name? Salakia. Queen Elizabeth II, 
you know you know like she's not of the the, the uh, like you know um like they're not of the black nobility all right so they know the difference all right so uh you 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 so-called peons you people who are learned like you don't even know you know like you don't even know the history man black nobility black nobility in england i just put black nobility in england all right i don't want to go so deep but pretty much you know these uh you know these devils man they're a bunch of pirates natural born pirates man all right and these are things that uh you know the average negro don't doesn't want to know you know daniel 9 8 oh, oh lord to us belongeth confusion of faces and to our kings and to our princes and to our fathers because we have sinned against you right so that's why uh you know a lot of the nobility throughout europe all right with uh britain you know uh france you know the portuguese a lot of our people were still uh in domain and our people were uh played a part in the downfall of our nation all right because we have transgressed against the heavenly father and um it was the time when uh yahweh and yahweh shai he wrote he was raising up the white man he's raising up the devil because he would because he was in you know because uh you know because after the the pagan fall of pagan rome all right jake came you know like jake came back to power all right and um so we were in power for over a th thousand years well over a thousand years man so um we had to fall man romans 12 and 1 and i saw an angel come down from heaven having a key to bomb this pit and a great chain in his hand and he laid hold of the dragon that old serpent and which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years all right and that's why esau was put man into a pit man all right and eventually uh you know like they rose back to power all right and cast him into a bombless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he shall be loose little season so th these are the times that uh you know um, like this is the little season that these edomites are in all right and um and this is the little season all right it says for eat for esau is the end of the world in our second Ezra uh six and nine but jacob's beginning of it that followed so that's what we're looking forward to all right um um yeah i have a couple notes let's get some notes but this is a uh, very uh very vast and uh, i'm going to see where the spirit's going to lead i have i think is uh, scripture i have a uh, this is a very good book too this is called uh, african presence in early europe all right because we're not african all right even though africa you know like africa was named after a man right scipio africanus right he was a, a roman he was a roman uh, emperor all right that was fighting against you know the people of carthage all right the hannibal of barca and and, and uh um that hannibal all right his his um uh, his son and basically we were fighting you know and um uh, you know and like hannibal was a great uh warrior you know 
and uh, you know, and we were conquered ultimately. Right? This is a very good book. Uh, you know, this is a very good book. To, like, you, like you could download as a PDF, or you could buy it. Uh, I would normally would buy, you know, um, these books, man. But now everything's accessible, man. So you don't have to, uh, you know, like waste your money or. But it's very good to have because uh, when the internet is gonna go, like you won't be able to even, uh, like you won't be able to. Uh, you know, I like to refer, you know, like to these type of books. All right, so uh, let's see. This is uh, African Presence in Europe by by uh, by Ivan Serdama. All right, which he's a historian. All right, and he's an Israelite. I believe he's from uh, Guyana. All right. He's very uh, knowledgeable of the Moors and our history. All right, and just like um, the other guy, J. A. Rogers, where I know that um, that nature knows no color line, sex and uh, race. You know, by J. A. Rogers, uh, he's West Indian, and uh, he, you know he was born in the. Uh, you know, he was a historian in the early 1900s. Man. All right, so so you know so they had a lot of information man. so this is a uh, african presence in early europe this is page 204 it says uh julius brought black legions into germany and britain all right so this is julius you know the edomites all right who was in power all right but our people were still in those those regions all right and um you know and the jaffrit was up in, in, in like you know like was living in their in their in their territories eventually but uh you know like the jaffites were driven you know into the islands you know you know like um australia um you know singapore you know that those whole areas you know, Cambodia, you know, the Jaffites were driven up eventually. Yeah. And um, it says, but the evidence of blacks in Germany had been, has been claimed to date back to the Nathaniel, like the, like the, uh, like the Nathaniel skulls. All right that the oldest african type in europe is a discoverer right? which you know a lot of the jaffites was you know after the flood you know like they were you know like they were uh you know like they migrated the heavenly father he uh like he separated nations right all right but uh this is gonna be uh this is off the same page 204 it says, uh, it, it, says, it says, Portugal itself has been described by historians. It says, it says particularly, like it says, um, it says particularly Brunel Springing as the first example of Negroes African Republic in Europe. He went on to write in his book like racial mixture it's not it says racial mixture as the basis of principle of life all right so our people were living you know throughout europe right and especially in that whole iberian peninsula through spain portugal france you know britain wales you know denmark you know, our people were living up in those regions. Russia, in the Portugal, it says in the Portuguese run, a deep current of Negro blood, and there, it says, and there the Negroes has often rise to uh, cast 
of nobility right so we were nobles right the so-called black nobility right napoleon's army had many small black portuguese soldiers sicilian of course in um is also like profound africans right which are not african right so the portuguese all right with their black black portuguese soldiers and sicilians right so we were you know we're living you know in that whole region all right in the whole mediterranean all right um The Roman brought Negro troops to reign, uh, reign over Dunno. Uh, says in a circle of people whose members belong to the Russian, English, and German nobility, there is more. There is much Negro blood inhabited from an ancestor who lived at the end of the 18th century and who was the great grandfather of one of the greatest poets of all the land and of all this alexander um sergif fichin puskin right he's a russian all right so um uh, you know so the russian english and germans of it says it says russian russian and Ju russian english and german nobility there is much negro blood all right so you know like we were you know like we were mixing and we were in power we we're no we're the nobles all right because uh eventually like we fell eventually through uh you know like the black plague and all that but uh even after the plague you know basically when it was when uh you know we everything you know our uh power throughout europe started to dwindle eventually but uh you know our people were still over there you know like calling the shots and our revelation oh no daniel uh nine and nine or eight oh lord to us belongeth confusion of faces to our kings and to our princes and to our fathers because we have sinned against thee it says it said to the lord our power it said belongeth mercies and forgiveness though we have rebelled against him right so yeah that's what happened man you know so uh, this is going to be off of uh, the same page 204 uh, african presence in early europe by uh ivan sardomo one of the well-known examples of a member of royalty with the blood of african of course in here her veins was queen charlotte sophia german born concert of the english king george iii of born 1760 and died 1820 right so our people were still in power man and that's why uh you know so like that was like over a hundred and some odd you know basically over 200 some odd years right but you know but they still have a image of uh you know of king george you know you know because you know because we had cameras we had you know like photographers you know even in the 1800s right so you know, like this is how he looked negro this is how he looked all right and uh, people had power and um and like that's why um on well, like joseph grant or whatever he, like he would go to uh to england 
or whatever and uh and they would uh dialogue all right because they were in you know they were uh you know the, because they you know because um like joseph brandt he had the uh air car confederacy you know and um you know him and king george was like this you know so that's a lot of history of that um so let's see what else so um German-born consort of the English King George III, 1760-1880. All right, so it's uh, one, one of the well-known examples of a member of royalty which, with the blood of African, which are not African, right? Those Israelites, right? Of the Jacobites, right? Is as cursing in her vein with Queen Charlotte Sophia, German born concert of the English German English English German the third. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um you know. Yeah, so uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, this is a uh, Queen Charlotte Sophia. All right. So this is how she will look. No doubt about that. Like that's why you saw as mad man because you know because they know man you know like this you know this is how she is. This is how she is. she's a Negro man. Her and um, very fair light, you know, you know, look like a Beyonce type or whatever, you know, that bloodline. Queen Charlotte Sophia, wife of King George III of England, grandmother of Queen Victoria, the German princess has been said by uh, eminent historian and anthropologist to be the early blonde nordic negroid type much much in evidence in germany right so like you know like that's why um, a lot of our people were still living right like there's a lot of um a lot of uh you know like history you know with that and uh, there's still a lot of uh, images and uh, art and streets that's named after Negroes. All right, and uh, basically with uh, with you know with uh, what's his name? A uh, Adolf Adolf Hitler whatever there was a lot of black people who were murdered too all right and that's it i'm not gonna go very much in depth but there's a lot of history all right, of uh you know of atrocities against against the negroes against our people another royal queen with the blood of african in her veins is the duchess of 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 um alphonse she was described as the most beautiful woman at the court of John the Sixth of Portugal in the 1800s by a noble French authority, right? So our people were still nobles through through our French, throughout France. You know, when you read about like Charlemagne, you know, like the king, you know, King Charlemagne, you know. The Duchess is brown, but called, but you know, it says it, like it says the Duchess is brown, but calmly. The Duchess is, it said the Duchess was the King's aunt. All right, all that time, f fully one third of Portugal was black. 
African, which are not African, all right? We're Sephardic Jews, all right? Um, that's pretty much it for that. So let's continue. It says, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by the pardoning that they might not obey thy voice. Wherefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, it's a, it's a servant of the Yahweh, because we have sinned against it. Yeah, so yeah, like that's why Moses, you know, with uh, the the Lord, he was he, he was he was sitting with the Lord, Mount Sinai, you know, for forty days, all right, and he came down, all right, and that people was worshiping idols, man. And he broke this and he broke the you know like and he broke the staffs all right so the you know so Moses had to go up to the mount again and uh eventually uh you know he wrote these things in a book you know um that, that's why we have the torah you know was written by moses all right of our uh, of, of our beginning and you know you know from the beginning from uh, Genesis, you know, um, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Numbers, you know, like those were, uh, you know, and basically like Deuteronomy 28, you know, the curses, you know, th that would be followed if we disobey the Heavenly Father, you know. Um, so what else? Uh, this is, uh, it's another source let's see uh because i'm gonna close just now it says uh so like yeah it's gonna be another yeah. so the portuguese jews of jamaica yeah let's see that the portuguese because uh my mom's side um you know they're sephardic jews all right because uh my grandfather you know like before he died he died of cancer uh 2008 but basically um you know his father all right um he came you know he, his father came his father was a uh, uh a trader all right and he came from portugal all right but um you know and you know but they migrated you know to uh the island of jamaica all right and um you know and there was a lot of uh you know uh like so far the jews who migrated you know like to the americas all right this is a very good book um you know, cause my father's side, you know, come from the Britain. You know, you know, like I'm like, you know, like let like my father's side come from the British stock. All right, and um, you know, this is gonna be uh, page forty-eight, cause I'm kind of so by. Uh, Okay, page 48, let's see. Page 48, Jewish economic activities, right? Which are not ish, all right? We're just the Jews, but eventually, you know, a lot of that knowledge and wisdom, you know, they have gotten from us, right? Because uh, basically seven uh, something AD, you know um, basically i think 720 a.d basically is when uh, the khazar empire you know it came up and uh, and like they had the option whether to choose christianity all right or to choose islam all right so they chose a mutual stance all right and they uh incorporated you know their uh 
their manners and things into into our uh, like our uh, in our into our type of life basically you know so uh, you know so basically like that's why we all fell you know like and like that's why like they call themselves the Jews but and also a lot of our people you don't really know right because this is why the Lord's gonna sever out like the weeds from the tears right because some of our people are very fair you know some of our people are gonna look like they're like they're um you know like some of them are gonna look like they're amnokites you know but they're really of the seed of jacob all right so this is the mystery man this is jewish economic activities in the first year of the british conquest the jamaican jews dealt with double commodities that were their their it says that was their special that was their like that was their um like special lit that was their speciality in other location in the west indies they dealt with they dealt with bob it's like it says they dealt with brasilla wood all right so you know so the wood over brazil all right because uh you know uh basically i'm um, like that's what they call that place brazil right because they have a lot of wood called of Brazil, right? You know, so like that's why they call it Brazil. So a lot of the the, um, the Portuguese, you know, they came to the Americas, all right, as traders, uh, explorers, all right. You know, uh, like Matheus da Costa, uh, all kind of different people, man. Uh, the Dias. I think Bartholomew Dias, all that man. We had a, a great, you know, uh, network. They dealt with. It says, they dealt with Brasilla wood, pepper, cocoa, and sugar. They had f virtual monopoly on vanilla. As a pimento trade, all right. So yeah, our people were very industrious, man. All right, um, like let's look at Monopoly. The Monopoly, and not the game, but you know, uh, I I remember when I was young, I always loved Monopoly, man, and uh, you know, and that's why we're you know. You know, if you have children, you know, like, like you know, um, like those are good games, you know, like to play with your children and your family. All right, but uh, you know, but it's like we were really living a real life monopoly, you know, like even when uh, I'm like basically we fell, but you know, but you know, we we're still had a monopoly. It's a monopoly. This is the meaning the exclusive like possession or control of the supply of or trade in like like in a commodity or a service right so our pe people were uh you know we had a commodity right whether it's uh servants servants slaves serve or you know through uh, different types of things right wood you know that's why our people were, uh, our people was uh, very uh, prominent, man. Um, a cop, you know, like, uh, like that's why Joel three and let's go and get that. Then I'll get back to this. Joel three and um, started at six. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, right? So the the Romans, all right, and also you know like through these devils, man, all right. That was our people was funding it, all right, through the transatlantic slave trade, all right. You know, cause the British, you know, the a lot of the monarch, they're Israelites, you know, 
and um, you know until we all had to fall that he might be removed far from their borders you know even like the Portuguese had a, a, a hand in the slave trade as well um, Prince Henry the Navigator all right and uh, a lot of different our people man and uh, behold I you know because the that um, you know the Prince Henry the Navigator he was a uh, Templar all right, the Templars goes back to uh, you know that the Crusaders, or right, who want who uh who, who like want to get back the land, right? But the the damn Ishmaelites was uh, inhabiting like the land, so that's why there was a big war with the Crusades. Yo, know, I will raise them out of the places whether ye have sold them, and I will return a recompense upon their own head, right? And that's what's gonna happen eventually, right? So we you know that like we messed up. All right, so we gotta, we just have to just endure it, all right, because everything is prophecy, and we just have to just endure, and uh, you know, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah, all right. So yeah, so yeah, like we're gonna have your, you know, a payback, right? And when I was watching that movie with Will Smith. Will Smith, I always, I think one of the first books I got was um, like the Will Smith book, man. You know, but uh, you know, even though he's he messed up, you know, he has a lot of good movies, man. He has a lot of good movies. He had a good, uh, he had a good uh, also um, like a, a, like a TV series, uh, like the uh, like the Fresh Prince of Bell. Baal, ba ba Baal, air, whatever, you know, but, um, you know, but that one with Will Smith, uh, Emancipation was, re was very good, man, all right, because what they did to our people, man, through the transatlantic slave trade and, you know, the torture and pain, you know, like, that's why a lot of the, like, the loyalists, you know, like, the loyalists who was, um, fighting, you know, because you had um, the French and um, and the loyalists, right? So a lot of our people were fighting for their freedom. A lot of our people were still free, and we're fighting for that for our people, man. And they shall sell them to the Sabians, right? So the Sabians would be like the are like the uh, Ethiopians, and all right. All right, so we're gonna have them as taskmasters. All right, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Let's see uh, the NLT. I will sell your sons and your daughters of the people of Judah and they shall sell themselves to the people of Arabian a nation far uh, away and I the Lord have spoken it man so yeah that's what's gonna happen man all right it says it said between 1670 and 1750 the Jews and Jamaica established established commercial paths with the Spanish colonies in Central and South America all right so our people we had colonies all right you know through uh you know like with, through uh christopher cologne or cologne or christopher columbus whatever a lot of the our people came over to the america to establish colonies all right and um it, it says it said usually with their relatives who resided there as new christians right so the convertos we call you know the, the, the moranos right now like they were converted right because a lot of our people were still practicing the torah some of our people were practicing islam as well right so a lot of them converted you know i was doing their stuff in in secret still some of them you know we set up synagogues 
throughout Jamaica and the Caribbean, Central, South America, you know. And um, trade trade was also set up with with commercial centers where Spanish Portuguese Jews were established, such as Amsterdam, Geneva. It says Leghorn, Venice. It says um, Bordeaux, which is France, North Africa, Turkey, and even India. So we have a, a, a vast empire, man. We had a rich empire, man. We had a monopoly, man. All right. We had the enterprise. A most precious fiction of this commercial can draw from extensive of trade by location. Said Madeira wine, Ireland linen, Bordeaux and and Bayon silk and wine. And over there in France, man, we have they have some good wine, man. You know. I think there was a. I know. I know one of the wines that uh, you know um, that one of the brothers put me on to. Like is the Blue Nun. You know that's like a France wine, a French wine, man. Very good. You know, um, Langhorn, Venice. You know, over there, Italy, Genoa. Satin, pearl, handcrafted swords and daggers, Holland through Holland through chorus, crocs, linen, wool, stockings and hats, Turkey, precious stones, New England, foodstuff and lumber. It says Carolina and Georgia meat and corn. Within the North American, the Jamaican Jews dealt with a large Portuguese Jewish commercial company of Aaron Lopez and Jacob, Jacob Rodrigo's River of Newport, Rhode Island and Daniel Gomez of New York said to be of Jamaican origin, right? So we, we had a lot of trade routes, right? and uh eventually you know that we fell it says uh in london the jamaican jewelry traded the house of benjamin mendes the costa and daniel bro so we had a, a vast a vast enterprise man all right but we fell it says uh it says the main source of profit however was so-called Murano connection what which was elite was which which was the illicit and better sim, semi-legal says commercial with Spanish colonies but studying the said it said by studying the commercial stat by studying the commercial statistics one sees that the Morano connection said it's a conversos pretty much it for that um and I didn't want to overdo this it's been over an hour um I'm gonna have to uh you know do another uh series this is uh the connection between I said the Portuguese connection and the Jews of Jamaica. This is a very good uh, source, you know, um, cause I come out of that. My mother, you know, it, like they come out of the Iberian like peninsula. So uh, my great great grandfather, like they came from Portugal, but I don't know, you know, through through uh, if he was in. Um, you know, San Tome or the land of Portugal, you know, um, like Lisbon or, you know, because, you know, because it's like we don't have our, our family tree and roots, you know, that we, you know, so, um, 
with that let us all praise it do unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rakakwadash the bonds of the apostles of great millstone peace and blessings to the whole from members of the elect Shalom